Have you ever wondered if it's possible to make GIMP look more like Photoshop? Well, in this video, I am going to show you how. All right, so a lot of people love Photoshop. GIMP is an alternative to Photoshop. It's free, but what they don't like about GIMP is that, well, it doesn't look like Photoshop. But there is a way to make GIMP look a little bit more like Photoshop. It's not going to be Photoshop, of course. It doesn't have all the functionality of Photoshop. But uh, in this tutorial, I'll show you how you can at least make the theme a little more Photoshop-like. And maybe it'll make it easier for you to use GIMP. So let me open up GIMP as, as it looks without the theme modification, just so you can see what it's like. A lot of people don't like the way that GIMP uses Windows in that when you open a new project or you create a new file basically what it does is it uh, puts it in the window which is fine but if you want to if you want to create another project or, or task it basically opens up a brand new window okay and you can have these windows all over the place and hiding behind each other and it's hard to know where where things are so it's not the most flexible way to work on on the computer the tab functionality in photoshop is something that a lot of people prefer so let me close off this instance of gimp and i'll show you how you can make gimp look a little more like photoshop so in order to to make it look more like photoshop there is a set of files that basically are going to change the theme of gimp and i'm going to make this uh zip file available in the in the link below which uh, you can download and then uh, you can use it to change your own installation of gimp so the first thing you have to do is uh, unzip this gimp ps master zip i'm going to do that now and once it's unzipped you'll notice that there are a whole bunch of files in here that uh, are going to basically do the magic of transforming GIMP into Photoshop. So you have to put these files in a particular place. And, and the place where you have to put them is into the GIMP configuration folder, which is found in C. Assuming you're using Windows, you're going to find it under C, Users, the main user of the computer, which is me in this case. And here's the GIMP configuration folder and inside this folder you'll find a whole bunch of files that basically are required to allow GIMP to work. Now before I change this configuration folder I'm going to copy it to the desktop just in case I don't like the transformation. So I'm going to copy it here and I'm going to use the original GIMP folder to basically copy the files that are going to now change the theme of, of GIMP. So I'm just going to copy them into this folder and I'm going to say yes to all of this. So I need to replace certain files that are already there with uh, new configuration files. So copy and replace and then say yes to copy the folders as well. And you can see that all the files from here have been copied into the GIMP configuration folder. So I'm going to close this off now. I'm going to close both windows and all you need to do now is open GIMP again and it should look like Photoshop. It's going to take GIMP a little while to process the new files that were, were put into the configuration folder, but it should open shortly. And once it opens up, you'll notice that it basically has a Photoshop-like interface. I'm just going to move this over here so it looks a little more like Photoshop. And there you go. Now you've got GIMP looking you know, quite a bit like Photoshop. If you open a file, it's going to basically put the file in a tab. So there's the tab. And if you want, you can open another instance as well. So let's just open a random file here. Okay, so now you've got two tabs. And it's much easier, I think, to switch back and forth between the tabs this way than it is, uh, you know, with the way GIMP is uh, set up originally. And of course, you've got all your different functions here that you can apply. Now, this doesn't make GIMP into Photoshop, but it does give GIMP a, a more Photoshop-like interface. So that's all there is to it. If you want to change it back to the way uh, it was, 
All you need to do is go back to the GIMP configuration folder here, delete it because you've got all these files in there that you don't want, and copy the folder that you made a copy of into, into this area. And if you open up GIMP again, it should be back to the way it was originally. Again, it's going to take a minute to open it up, but there you go. It's now back to the original GIMP interface. And that's all there is to it. So uh, take care. I hope you enjoy this uh, little GIMP mod, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.